I'm Roxanne Arisa, and I've got another haul. I know, I've got a problem. I actually have tons of stuff to show you guys today. I have stuff from Sephora, from MAC, um, stuff that I bought online. I have drugstore makeup. I even have some skincare, which I don't really talk about skincare that much on my channel, but I needed to restock, so I just thought I'd throw it into this haul. And it is a collective haul. It's gonna be a lot of stuff, so grab a stack, sit tight, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click right here and you'll be able to subscribe. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter because you know I be all over the internet. The first thing I want to show you is this Makeup Forever lip liner. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with lip liners right now. So I saw this one in the store and I swatched it. And I just thought it was such a nice consistency, so I really wanted to try the formula out, and this was my favorite color. This is the shade 1C, and it's kind of just a brownie nude liner, but I don't know, I really like the formula of it. It's similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats, and very moisturizing, creamy formulas, so wanted to give it a go. I finally got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette which I have I have been wanting this for so so long because it's so beautiful and I just feel like it's the perfect kind of natural highlights like this is perfect for everyday looks um, I've heard that it's beautiful for like bridal makeup so excited I've been wanting this for ages but just never got around to getting it because it is you know quite an investment but I think this is something that you're gonna want to have in your collection or at least I want to have in my collection and I feel like it's gonna last me a super long time because there are three different powders in there you get you know the three different shades this one's more champagne -y, this one has more of a pearl tone and this one's very nude so I am kind of in love and I haven't even used it yet I also got a highlighter from Becca which I'm actually meant, I meant to get the pressed version, but I ended up accidentally getting a poured version of Moonstone. Now I wanted to try Moonstone because it's one of the only ones that I haven't tried from Becca. I've tried most of their other highlighters, but have not tried Moonstone. And of course, I accidentally grabbed the wrong box. But long story short, I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. I swatched it and I really like it. I've been into cream highlighters a lot lady, lately, <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep this. That is kind of what it looks like. Very, very pretty. They're very pigmented, so I'm excited to play around with that. I also ended up getting a blush from Becca because I have heard that the formula of these guys is really nice as well. This is Flower Child. It's a really pretty, like, petally pink, I would say. It's very, like, flower-y. Reminds me of flowers. So, yeah. It actually has um, a bit of gold shimmer in it, at least when I swatched it, so that could be really nice. I've been so into like very golden and very glowy looks, so <laughs> we're gonna like that. This is a very random collective haul, so I'm kind of jumping around a bit, but I got my hands on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Very, very, very excited for this. You guys know how long I've been wanting it. I mean, I think I've talked about on the channel that I've wanted it for so long now, and even before that, I wanted it. So, I just heard all that and more about this foundation, really. So, this is what the bottle looks like. I'll try to do a little swatch Rooney. I don't know why I swatched this on, like, literally my knuckle, but... This is the shade I got. It's the shade 3.5, which looks like it will be a pretty good match. I'm... On, for the most part, I'm pretty lucky with foundations because I can kind of see um, the color range and then kind of, you know, pick out my shade. So hopefully it'll fit, but <laughs> I'm so excited for this. You guys will definitely be seeing a lot of it on my channel. <sighs> I have been wanting that for so long. Another very exciting little purchase that I made was this Tartlet in Bloom palette from Tarte. Now this, I actually didn't get it from Sephora. I got it, um... It's kind of hard to explain, but in my area, there is kind of a Facebook group of girls, mostly like high school, college age girls, I think, that can go onto this group and resell their items um, if they haven't used them. And a lot of the makeup items are actually brand new in the box like this one, and you get pretty good deals, so I've been kind of obsessing over that lately. But um, this is one of the things that I got from it, 
and actually one, the girl that sold me this, um, I told her about my YouTube channel, so hi if you're watching, it was really nice meeting you, but it is so beautiful, I am, I'm literally obsessed with it and I have not even used it yet, but I'm definitely planning to do a tutorial, I really want to do a cut crease tutorial with this guy, so that may be my next video or possibly the one after that, so definitely keep you know keep your eye out for it I'm gonna be doing that very soon but I am in love with this and I'm just gonna swatch a few because I feel like the actual pigments are so nice and the shadows feel very buttery and smooth as well so let me just show you guys this these three at the bottom are all from the Tarte palette the top two are mattes this one is leader and then this is activist and then this is the shade firecracker which is a shimmer as you can tell, all three of them are very, very pigmented, and I am so excited to create some looks with this guy because I've always wanted the Tarte in the Tarte lip palette and then the Tarte in blue. Finally got it. I forgot to mention this when I talked about the liner, but I also picked up one of the new Makeup Forever um, eyeshadow palettes. This is the nude one, I believe. Yeah, it's called. You know, they don't even have this name on here, but. I will link it down below. I link all the products down below so you can find it down below if you want to see it. But this is just like the nude one. It's really pretty. It does have a lot of shimmers which I didn't really notice that much when I was picking it out but it's predominantly shimmers with a matte black so um, I think definitely I would have to use this with other things in order to get like transition shades and maybe like you know some more neutral mattes in there to blend things out but nonetheless this is a beautiful palette um, I've never really tried Makeup Forever shadows but when I was in the store and swatching them and everything they just looked so beautiful and they felt really nice too they almost feel like velvet on the um, like when you swatch them this is a swatch of this purple shade down here really nice I don't know, you have to go and feel them if you're ever in a Sephora because they feel very different than any other shadows. Like I said, they're very velvety, they're very creamy, so I'm excited to see how they wear because I don't think I have many other shadows that have the same consistency. I finally got the Naked One palette and I know this is old, old, old news and you probably all have this right now, but I never had it. I have the two and I have the three, but I've always wanted the one because it's definitely the most warm tone and I'm just into the warm tones, but I am kind of obsessed. I have used this a few times since purchasing it. Um, actually, I've been using it every single day. What am I talking about? It's been like my go-to, so I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of it already. I will be getting a lot of use out of it. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an updated everyday makeup routine because I am kind of obsessed with how I've been doing my makeup on an everyday basis and literally I've been wearing it every single day which is so different for me. I don't usually wear makeup every day but honestly ever since I got this palette I've been wanting to. Like I actually get up and I'm like, Ooh, let me use that today. <laughs> so I don't know. If you want to see an updated everyday makeup routine, give this video a thumbs up. I know I did one pretty recently but it's a whole new look again. And I've literally been wearing it every day for like the past few weeks, so yeah. I also got a few Urban Decay singles recently. I really like the, you know, quality of Urban Decay shadows, so I thought I'd just pick up a few more. This is the shade Gash, and it's kind of like a rusty reddish brown. It's really pretty. That's the color right there. And then I also got Chains, which is kind of an olive green tone. Really pretty again. I'm making progress. I'm actually swatching everything because... I know a few times ago people were commenting that I wasn't swatching enough, so I got your back. Picked up another Anastasia concealer. Now I already have this in a darker shade, but that shade is way too dark, so I wanted to get a lighter shade, but this shade is now way too light. So what I've been doing is actually mixing the two together, which is definitely um, a little bit of a hassle for me. I mean, it's not that, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely an extra step that wouldn't be ideal but the thing is this concealer is amazing it's the best concealer I've ever tried it's so full coverage I've literally never tried another concealer that's as full coverage as this one I love the consistency I really like everything about the concealer except for the two dang shades that I particularly have they do not match me at all like I said this one is way too light the other is way too dark so I'm gonna just for right now mix them together because I don't want to go out and purchase another one but I got this, sorry, that was a big rant. Stila, this is actually a um, 
what is this called? The Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. So it's a cream blush, and it's in the shade Lilium. I saw a makeup artist use this on Rosie Huntington Whitley, and it literally looked gorgeous. So I was like, yeah, didn't do that. Okay. Yes, please. I will take one of those, and I literally went out and got it that day. This is the shade. It doesn't look that special, but it is literally the prettiest thing I've ever seen next to Rosie Huntington Whitley. But actually, this is a really pretty color. I haven't even swatched it yet. <laughs> but very pigmented. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it's kind of that true pink. It doesn't really have too much of, you know, a corally undertone. It's not shimmery. It's pretty matte. So it's definitely going to look natural. And I am very, very excited to use this because... Let's be real, it just looked really nice on her. Another blush I got is from NARS, and I'm a huge fan of NARS. I think their products are very high quality. So this is the shade Madly from NARS. I've had my eye on Luster for a while, but once I got to the store, I saw this one, and I was like, that is so beautiful. I don't have anything like this. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, very, very slight bit, but it's kind of a like browny nude shade. I don't know. I thought it was really pretty, and I'm very, very excited to use this because, like I said, I'm a huge fan of NARS. Their blushes are so beautiful. Moving on to MAC, I did pick up a few more things there. They finally have stripped down back in stock. It was sold out for ages, and I needed it in my life, but nobody ever had it. So they finally had it, and I was like, yes. Let me get one. Let me get two. Let me get three. No, I'm just kidding. I just got one. But I've always wanted to try this. It's like a perfect nude, brown nude. It's a lot more on the brown side than the Makeup Forever one that I showed you. This is it right here. It's darker than the Makeup Forever, but it's so beautiful. And I've literally wanted this forever. So I'm very excited to finally have it. Then I got two of these Select Moisture Cover Concealers, which I think I used to have. Um, this is actually another thing that I bought off that um, Facebook group, but um, I got the shade NC15 and then also NC30, which is like my perfect shade. NC15 I will be using for highlight and then NC30 for concealing actual blemishes. Like I said, I think I had this before. I think I had it like literally probably the first concealer I ever had that wasn't drugstore, like my first high-end concealer, but I don't really remember how it was at all because I wasn't really that into makeup at that point, obviously. But um, I'm excited to see, you know, how it wears, how the coverage is, yada yada yada. I also did get a quad, like an empty quad, and four different shadows. So this is Saddle Brown, Soft Brown, sorry, <laughs> um, Kid, and also Naked Lunch. Um, let me put these into the quad. That's gonna be a lot easier to do this haul. I basically just created my like personal little neutrals palette, which I'm mad about it. It just makes the most sense to me because that's the stuff. This is the stuff that I'm gonna get the most use out of. So you know, I can use this every day. I can definitely use it for blending shades and anything else. So I just wanted to get some basic neutrals in here. And I really love how it turned out. I've always wanted these shades, so I'm excited to add them to my collection and everything. Yeah. Then I got two Bobbi Brown, wait for it, Bobbi Brown gel liners, one black and one brown. I got this at Costco for like 35 bucks. That is such a good deal, you guys. I think one, one of them is usually like 28, 29 maybe. So you get two for 35, and it comes with a mini brush as well. Now, I love my Oh For Cosmetics one. But this is a cult favorite that I've never tried, so when I found it at Costco, I was, I, I mean, I really wanted it, but I was kind of debating not getting it or even returning it after I bought it just because I am in love with my Ofer Cosmetics gel liner and, like, nothing, I feel like nothing will ever replace that. But at the same time, I do want to be, you know, knowledgeable about all different brands, all different liners. I want to know how to use different, you know, different formulas and everything and use them well. And I want to be able to tell you guys what I truly like best with the knowledge of everything that's out there. Because this is such a popular item and it's such a cult favorite amongst, you know, makeup artists, that that's really like what made me want to still get it, even though I love my Ofer one. So I will be trying this out and I'll try to do sort of like a mini comparison in one of my upcoming videos after I've tried it and tell you guys which one I like better because I know a lot of people love this one. And then when I was home in LA, I actually made a little trip to Kiko and Kiko is, um, it's very affordable actually, but 
I finally got the one, no, sorry, 208 water eyeshadow, which is beautiful. This can be used as a highlight, it can be used as, used as an eyeshadow, it could be used wet or dry. I've already used it, as you can see, but it is gorgeous, guys. Like, honestly, <laughs> you need this in your life. I also picked up three of their soft touch blushes because they were legit on sale for like $3. So, <laughs> yeah. These are the three shades that I got. This is 102, 112, and 111. Um, they have a pretty good range, as you can tell. This is very natural and like nude and brownie. This is more purpley pink. And this is more of a kind of a, I would say a berry tone pink. I don't know. Actually, that's a pretty unique color. But let's do a little swatch -a rooney I'm running out of room. Sorry, guys. This is number 112, and that is 111 right there. Very sheer. But I want to try them on because, like I said, I kind of like that. I don't know if that's just me, but that is my preference. So I'll definitely be giving these a go pretty soon. All right, now we're going to get into the drugstore stuff. We're slowly making our way through all of these bags. Um, the first thing that I want to show are these two lipsticks. I've been really wanting to try Cinnamon for a while. Oh, these are both from Maybelline, by the way. Cinnamon and Truffle Teas. They're both in the brown nude family, but I have really been into that kind of shade lately. There is no room on this arm, so I'm going to have to move to this arm. I am not These are the two swatches right here. This one is Truffle Teas, and then that's Cinnamon. As you can tell, Cinnamon is slightly more on the pink side, whereas Truffle Teas is a little bit more on the brown. I am obsessed with brown news right now, as you guys know. The Jouer um, Longwear Lip Cream in Noisette is like my my holy grail and this is kind of in the same family although this is a lipstick so it's not going to be matte um, hopefully it'll be moisturizing I mean <laughs> I want that so I'm very excited to try these because like I said I've really been wanting cinnamon for a while and then truffle teas is beautiful as well I actually picked up two of the new Maybelline color tattoo sticks um, you guys know I'm a huge huge fan of the Maybelline color tattoo like the original like pot formula and these looked really pretty. Bad to the Bronze is my absolute favorite. So, of course, ooh, oh my gosh, that is so pigmented. Of course, I wanted to go with a bronzy shade. That is, um, this is the shade Bronze Truffle. So, that is very, very pigmented, guys. I'm very, very excited to use that. And then the other shade I got is Barely Beige, which I thought was kind of a pretty champagne nude shade. Very pigmented as well. These are so creamy. I feel like they're gonna be super easy to use because they are in this like stick, um, you know, stick formula now. I picked up one of the brand new Milani eyeshadow palettes. You guys know how much I love Milani. I mean, their baked blushes, their bronzers, their lipsticks, pretty much everything is top notch for me. So I was really excited to see that they came out with a palette because I haven't really been that impressed with eyeshadow palettes at the drugstore so far. At least none of the ones that I've tried have, you know, been, been really anything too great for me. I mean, they're all right. They're, you know, they're okay. They're not super pigmented. They often have a lot of fallout. So I want to see how these are and, you know, the quality of them because that's one thing that I think of Milani is that their quality is just so, so amazing, especially for, you know, drugstore priced items. Okay, I'm finally getting down to the skincare. I picked up another Eco Bella Leave On Invisible Exfoliant and Blemish Remedy. This has kind of changed my life when it comes to skincare. I was previously using a physical exfoliant. Then I learned that that wasn't that good for you and I did some research and I found this one. I feel like I've talked about this very recently in a video. But this seriously does work incredibly. I mean, I have seen such a visible difference in my skin. My skin just looks more radiant, um, more even toned. It definitely does get the dead skin cells off. You can almost feel it like sometimes when I and like applying this I can feel the dead skin cells underneath and they're just like getting rubbed off so easily so gently I love this stuff and then I also picked up another 90 day supply of organic clear this I've been using this for about a year now I think and I honestly don't think I'll ever stop it is the best um, cleanser and moisturizer that I've ever tried I mean they don't dry me out I have oily skin and this is perfect. I don't get, you know, whiteheads as much. I don't get acne as much. I don't get breakouts. I 
just I feel like it just works so well and it doesn't you know leave you any with any redness or irritation or anything like that I love this my skin loves it so I always have to have some on hand no matter what because it's kind of like my do or die holy grail skincare item so that is it for this collective haul I am swatched out you guys and I don't know I'm so excited I feel very inspired I have a lot of ideas for videos and makeup looks to come so definitely make sure you subscribe and again all of the products are gonna be listed down below I do that for pretty much every video just in case I talk kind of fast or if you you know want to go back and just look at a specific product or anything so yeah Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or just if you appreciate this little swatch vest right here. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!